we are in tune with those dogs, you know. I am looking into their eyes. I'm interpreting how they're feeling. I, I, I do my best to be able to speak their language. I know they can't speak mine, but I am, I'm trying to really feel what they're feeling and, and gauging on their performance when they're running and how they're feeling, but how they're eating and just little cues you pick up on. So I just, it can't be, um, can't be close enough. And it gets pretty, pretty darn close when you spend that many hours together. I came back to Canada and uh, spent some time here in Grand Prairie with Aaron. And we just got to know each other. And yeah, through that time then, I arrived in late December and by April he proposed. Yeah. Eve is a mountain girl. Now we're out here on the prairie, so it's kind of... <laughs> yeah. yeah, I basically arrived, helped Moody up and was able to go for the right first run right there. And I think that was that was pretty much it. I was sold. Yeah, I just turned March. her loose with her own team. I just went off ahead in the snow <laughs> machine and just let her fend for herself for a little bit. Because yeah. that's when the magic happens, really, with the dog team. If when you feel alone out there and you're completely alone, unless, you know, just with your dogs, you know. And in hindsight, I, um, I thought he's crazy afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know what I was doing. Um, well, I knew if she lost them, trust. they would catch up with me. <laughs> <laughs> It was fun, it was so beautiful, it was uh, March and on those lakes up in Yellowknife, it was just a dream. And, uh, it goes way, way back as a, as a boy in Ontario watching uh, the Iditarod used to be televised on ABC Wide World of Sports, only on Saturdays for about an hour. You know, I remember seeing it a couple times and Susan Butcher was wearing red that was, you know, she won four out of five Iditarods in, uh, in that era. You know, it was, uh, that's what made the Iditarod world famous. And so it was getting on the major news networks and I got a book or two into my hands, pictures, learn more. And then I was enthralled by the pictures and the videos and the stories and just seemed to resonate with me right from the beginning. Hey, it's Elevation Sled Dogs, coming to you from Great Slave Lake. Never know what to say on these videos. I don't have a GPS to hold up and show you how fast I'm going, or how far I've traveled, but... Just gotta say that God's handiwork here is friggin' incredible. Look at this. Just an epic run this morning. Tundra, eagle up there, breaking trail. Beautiful snowfall the other night. We're just pounding out our trail here. Love it. Thank you everyone for all the support as we inch closer and closer to Iditarod 2019. We're so thankful for all the support and the opportunity. And uh, cheers, have a great day. in the miles here yeah we're uh, about 150 clicks before watson lake That's i wanted to stop at the liard hot springs there and go for a dip but you said we had to keep going so <laughs> keep i just i had to just keep cracking the whip here yeah. and gotta keep yeah. her here but oh sunny just puked up her breakfast there an hour ago that was pleasant gave a nice aroma throughout the cab of the truck and we had to pull over with the code red and puke all over the place and kids crying and lots of fun. Great, great fun. Yeah.